welcome back to yet another wonderful cooking adventure with Vic. In today's adventure, we're going to learn how to debone a fish that has removed the bones from the fish and yet leave the fish whole so that we can then stuff the fish with a savory stuffing and bake it. To do that, you'll need a sharp boning knife. There is a variety of ways for keeping the boning knives or any kitchen knife sharp. I like to use this particular electric sharpener. It consists of three parts, coarse, medium, and fine. And it's put out by Chef's Choice. It's been highly rated and it costs well under $100. The process of deboning the fish begins by cutting a slit at the tail end, pressing the knife flat as close as possible to the bones, and then basically following the contour of the bones, removing the meat from the bones as we move along. Very similar to deboning poultry. There are two parts in the fish structure that might cause a few problems. The first part is right here at the belly. You see how the belly is rather thin and the, the bones are very close to the skin. So this is going to require a little bit of attention. Now, the other part is right along, right along the back. The bones come all the way up to the top of the back on both sides. And then to remove that final part of the bone without puncturing the skin, I can either use a knife, or what is even easier to use is just a pair of scissors and simply cut the bone away. So let's get started. Start off at the end here by puncturing the skin. The skin is tough, so it takes a bit of force to puncture the skin and finally penetrate it. There we go. Then follow the contour of the bones right along. You'll be able to feel them with the knife blade. You see how the meat is beginning to separate away? There we go. Beginning to see the bones here and the meat has been separated. Here we're approaching the belly. It's going to require a little bit of attention here. You see how there's bones here that are very thin, very close to the, to the skin. And you just have to feel your way around here. See how the, the meat has been uh, separated from the bone. Here's the bone. And once we remove the, the bone, we'll have a hollow place for the stuffing. So let's turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. Puncture the skin, work your way down, start separating. Well, at this point, here is the bones, and they're stuck to the back of the fish. And to remove these bones from the back, uh, you can use a pair of scissors or a knife. I'm going to use a pair of scissors. Just start cutting right along the back. is to remove this from the head and this will actually come right out. Just a twist 
Here's the bone. Here's the whole fish. Now it's completely deboned. Ready for stuffing. Notice how it's a beautiful whole fish, beautiful presentation. And you can use the bones to make fish stock, or as in my case, throw them away. In the next phase, I'll stuff the fish and get it ready for baking. Well now, the fish has been deboned. I've made a bit of savory stuffing consisting of cooked shrimp, crab meat, sautéed onion and garlic, parsley, a little bit of white wine, salt and pepper, capers, chopped olives, and then just enough breadcrumbs to bind the mixture. It's yummy, trust me. So all I'm going to do now is open the fish, as you can see it's fully deboned, and I'll put in just enough filling to comfortably stuff the fish. Not too much because the stuffing tends to swell and you wouldn't want to spill too much of the stuffing out into the baking pan. So here we go. So to pat it in there a little bit to give it a little bit of um, shape. the fish and kind of pat it all down a little bit, squeeze it in like that. A little bit will fall out, that's all right. And what I've done here is prepare a baking pan. On top of the baking pan I have a grill and the grill I've sprayed with an oil spray and then liberally sprayed the grill with whole wheat flour. And the purpose of the whole wheat flour is to help prevent the fish from sticking to the grill. I have a large spatula here to help me pick up the fish. The fish is now ready for baking. And here is the beautiful baked stuffed red snapper coming right out of the oven flecked with brown and black with the skin is blistered and crispin it is delicious